Phil, there's been some great underdog performances already in this year's competition. Did that make you at all more nervous coming into the opening round tonight? Sure did, it did. Of course it did. It was, um, you never know who you play. You don't know what his achievements are. You don't know what he's going to do. Yeah, I'd rather play Michael Van Gimwin tonight, to be honest with you. He put the jeebie-jeebie-jeebies up me, to be honest with you. Speaking of Michael Van Gogh, and obviously he came very close to losing out to Rene Adams uh, last night. Did that sort of convince you that he is beatable? Michael's beatable, of course he is. We're all beatable. Um, what it showed me about Michael last night is he's good under pressure. You know what I mean? He was he was dead and buried there, and he just well, he was never actually dead and buried. He never actually had a chance to win the win the game or the other fella. He was he was still in control. You were using darts that were four grams lighter tonight. Can you talk a bit about that decision? I just like them. I just I had them yesterday off Gary, Gary, Gary Plummer, and I like them. And I'm going to go home now and practice with them for the next seven or eight days. And if they don't work, I'll go back. And I think they will work. I do, honestly. I think they will work. It was dead hard to concentrate tonight. There's so much <coughs> attention on me and so much, I don't want to say pressure. I, I, I suppose pressure is a little word you can say, but I've, there was a lot of focus on it tonight. And it played on my mind a bit. And finally, with 16 uh, World Championships in your name, what keeps you coming back for more? What keeps 17. you hungry? 17. 17 is your name, sorry. Yeah, what keeps you coming back for more? The 17. Of course it does. I want to win. Yeah, go on. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. 17, 18, 19 and 20. That's what I'm after. Cheers, Phil. Best of luck. Thank you.